The Cossacks by Shane O'Rourke. Uh, when I read this book a few years ago, I didn't realize how important it was to me. Um, and I'll, I'll probably do a fuller review uh, of this book in the future, but right now I just wanted to read one small part of it. Um, it was so important because it clarified so much about what is arguably the most uh, important symbol in uh, in uh, the heritage of this part of the world, which is the symbol of the Cossacks. Well, was it an ethnic group? Was it a profession? Was it a legal classification? Uh, was it Russian? Was it Ukrainian? Was it Kazakh? Uh, was it uh, from the Caucasus? Um, the, the short answer is that it was all of those things at different points in history. Uh, and I'll, I'll detail that when I do a fuller book review, but Right now, given the, the protests in Russia, given the, the fact that there were even a little protest uh, springing up in, in Russia, I heard 400 people were arrested, uh, I was reminded from, of uh, one small passage from this book. The symbolic importance of Kozak culture cannot be overestimated for the oppressed masses of Poland, Lithuania, and Muscovy. To see or even hear about a boyar or great yor treated with contempt by a Kozak, demonstrated to those masses that an alternative and viable social order did indeed exist. This was to prove far more threatening to Poland, Lithuania, and Muscovy, and the Russian Empire than the Kozak swords and muskets on their own could ever be. For those who believed and became Kozak, the effect was so liberating, so all-consuming, that they in effect became different people. Even for the millions who remained behind in bondage, the power of the Kozak idea to stir the belief that an earthly liberation was possible was as potent as those appeals that promised a heavenly liberation. Kozak ideals of freedom and equality were the stuff of popular dreams. For humiliated and oppressed peasants, the Kozaks represented a living and viable alternative to the existing social order. Kozak insurgency always had the potential to explode out of its regional local character into a matter of kingdom-wide significance, drawing into its ranks hundreds of thousands of desperate people by design and spontaneously. Rumor alone of Kozak rebellion was often enough for the ensurfed masses to shake off their sullen obedience to a hated system, proclaim themselves Kozak, and wreak a bloody vengeance on their oppressors. The memory of the abrupt transition from a glowering docility to a mob fury terrorized the imperial nobility down to the end of the old regime. And this was no atavistic nightmare dimly held in the collective consciousness of the nobility, but a living menace. The best, most comprehensive English language book on Kozaks, The Kozaks by Shane O'Rourke.